Hello, and welcome to this SpaceClaim video tutorial on assembly drawings. Today we'll learn how to create and modify a drawing of an assembly. First, let's go ahead and open assemblydrawing.sc doc in the assembly drawing folder. Here we can see we have an assembly with two sub-assemblies, each with their own components and solids. To create an assembly drawing, click on the application menu, go to New, and select Drawing Sheet with your assembly loaded. Here we can see the drawing sheets are in the structure panel, and this will be true back in our assembly. We could see the drawing's been loaded with the default format, and we could go ahead and change that by selecting one from this dropdown, or we can load in a specific format, or remove the current format altogether. If we go ahead and change the orientation or size, it'll also remove the drawing format. To change what format gets loaded by default, go into Space Claim Options, and under Detailing, Size, and Format, we can select a different preloaded format, or use your own customized one loaded from your hard drive. Also in the options under Detailing General are other options associated with drawings, such as View Options, like Default View Projection, and annotation options like the default text height. Here we can see that the drawing's been loaded with three standard views and we can simply click on a view outline and drag it around to reposition it. To add in a new view, click general view in the views group and click on the screen to place the view. Here if we click on the view outline, we can change the scale from being linked to the sheet to independent and we can type in a new ratio. We can change the view type from shaded to hidden line removed or wireframe or back to shaded. We could also change the view orientation to one of these other preloaded views like trimetric or if we want to load a custom view we could go back to the assembly, spin the model to the view we like, go over to the views tab and click create. We can give the new view a name and now simply double click on any of them in the views panel to see that view and if we go back to the drawing sheet we can click on the view outline and select the new view from the view drop down menu. To create a cross section view simply click the cross section button select a view to section and now select a reference on another view to place the reference arrow. Here we can see this view has now been cross-sectioned. To add in a detail view, click the detail view button. And first we need to decide if we want to create a new detailed view or convert an existing view to a detail. So we'll go ahead and create a new view. And first we'll click once to set the anchor point. And now we need to decide on the boundary type, whether a circle, rectangle, or sphere. So for a circle, we'll click once to set the center point, drag the mouse cursor out, click again to set the radius, and now click one last time to place the view. We'll switch over to the select tool, and if we select the outline of this view, we can again change the type or the scale. Dimensioning in Space Claim is as simple as clicking the dimension button and either clicking one edge to dimension that, or two edges to dimension between them. We can set radial dimensions simply by clicking on the rounded edge. We can dimension between holes. And if we go ahead and select on a cylindrical face and move our cursor to the side, we can see we can place a linear height dimension of that cylindrical face. Or if we drop the cursor below, we could place a radial diameter dimension. To add a note, click the Note tool in the Annotation group, click on Screen, type in the note you'd like to place, and now if we right click on the note outline, we can see we can change the font, insert a symbol, or add a note leader. And we can select from any of these insertion points, simply click one of them, and now click a reference on one of the views to snap it to the model. To add a bill of materials, go up to the bill of materials tool. And if we click the drop down, we can add a top level design, 
which in this case is only going to add in the two sub-assemblies. Or I can box select, press delete, and if I select parts only, we'll get only the components at the lowest level. Or finally, if I delete that and select indented, we will get the entire structure tree, including all the sub-assemblies and components. To reposition the bomb, simply click on it to display the outline, and then click and drag to reposition it. We can select on one of the handles around the outline to change the overall size, and we can drag the green handle to rotate. To insert in a column or row, click in one of the cells, right click, select insert, and choose to insert columns or rows to the left, right, above or below. If we want this column to be automatically populated, we'll go ahead and click in one of the cells and move our cursor right above that column. And when the black arrow appears, we'll click that to select the column. And now in the properties panel, we can select the column type. In this case, we're going to go ahead and add a material property. And from the column value, we'll go ahead and select volume. Here we can see it's automatically populated, and this will be updated if the model changes. If we want to go ahead and change the width of this column, we'll click in one of the cells of that column, and now we can select on the line dividing it from the adjacent column. If we want to export this bill of materials, simply right click and save table as, and we'll be able to save it as an HTML or XML document and this could be imported right into Excel. Once we've added in a bill of materials, we'll have the option to add balloon notes to call out either the item number, part number, or item number and quantity. We'll go ahead and select item number, and we have the option to either click on a specific part, and that will place the leader, and then click again to place the balloon. I can simply click and drag the balloon to move it around the screen, and same thing with the leader, if I want to reposition it to an edge, which shows an arrow, or a face, which shows a dot. you also notice from the status message that we can select a part to place a balloon, or select a drawing view to auto balloon. If I go ahead and click on the view outline instead of a part, it will place the remainder of the balloons on that view. And since the industry standard is to have one balloon per part, it will only place the remaining ones. Notice 1.2 has not been automatically added to this view. Finally, if we go ahead and save, this drawing sheet will be saved along with our assembly. Here we can notice the bill materials and the drawing sheets in the structure tree. And of course, we could always go back to our drawing sheet and do a save as, and save this as a PDF or an image file for anyone else to view. For any additional questions on creating an assembly drawing, press F1 for more help, go to search, and type in drawings. Here we'll see a number of entries for creating and modifying drawing sheets. Thank you for watching this SpaceClaim video tutorial on assembly drawings.